The Mindset Shift, Happiness Unlimited by B.K. Shivani. This book abstract is intended to provide just a glimpse of this wonderful book with the hope that you may like to read the original book at leisure and enjoy its real beauty. Choosing happiness it is the choice I make. Normally, we look for happiness from external factors like objects, relationships, achievements, success, name slash fame, power. Our belief system has created this dependency. This is mind conditioning from past experiences. This way we postpone happiness. Physical comfort, but mind in pain, happiness gone. Physical discomfort, but mind peaceful, happiness is possible. Very powerful, successful, wealthy, healthy, educated persons are unhappy. Persons without all this can be happy. We want to be happy depending on getting marks slash grades, job, relationship, success, money, name slash fame, car, house, behavior of others etc. These are just stimuli which create a response in the mind depending on our mind programming. I create thoughts and feelings, not the objects. My reaction slash response creates thoughts of happiness slash unhappiness. Different persons respond differently to the same stimulus. Happiness without or irrespective of the stimulus is possible, if I understand that I create the thoughts. I am the programmer of my life. No responsibility, no control. Spirituality gives us this freedom from dependency. When I don't get a job slash marks slash money, I think that being upset, intention, worry, fear, sadness are normal. Then happiness is not possible. Problems and challenges will be there. To despair or deal with them is our choice. Failure slash success not in my hand, my thoughts and feelings are in my hand. For any incident reaction is automatic, response is by choice. Meditation, does not mean stopping thoughts. Being aware and choice of thoughts is important. Begin every morning, just watch thoughts and feelings. To create the thought to embrace the journey. Two approaches. One, if I achieve this, I will be happy. Two, I will be happy while achieving this. It is not just reaching the destination that matters, it's the quality of the journey that counts. Others wish a safe journey. Destination slash goals marks slash grades, job, position, relationship, are important, otherwise we become passive, directionless. The goals may take days, months, years. While performing the duty, I am not enjoying since I am anxious slash stressful about the future. If I see some threats, competition, I try to manipulate, compromise on values and principles. This delays happiness because it creates anger, stress, anxiety during the journey. It takes a toll on health, relationships, mental peace. So, you have paid a heavy price for happiness. Painful journey. We are not just postponing happiness, we are creating unhappiness all the way. It multiplies because I am becoming emotionally weaker due to pain bruised further, easily hurt, irritated. Affects health. But in young age we don't feel the impact. We accept that stress and BP, diabetes, ulcers are inevitable. What do you say to the best friend after his failure in exam? job, relationship? Don't lose hope. Try again. I will help. Worrying doesn't help because it makes you weaker. Body language, enthusiasm, confidence affected. Who will employ such a demotivated person? They want a cheerful, happy, confident person. 
To be successful outside, be successful inside. Even if you fail outside, take care inside. Churchill, happiness is going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Our priorities are only success, not family, friends, health, society, country. You can help others only if you are healthy. Right thought feel good stability equals strength we respond better. An upset father makes himself and the child unhappy. Failure depletes energy, lowers self-esteem. We are not able to face others and ourselves. Life based on four factors, physical, emotional, intellectual, spiritual. Balance in all required for happiness. I have to be happy first, practice. When someone says something, I don't react in auto mode, I respond with plus ve thoughts, feelings, emotion. Do not change response based on the nature of the stimulus. Be original. If courtesy is your quality, don't change even if other person is rude. Because I like to be courteous. Just take one quality courteous, humble, sweet, loving, happy, and stick to it no matter what how, where, when. We take near and dear, poor, weaker ones for granted and are rude with them and sweet to even rude but powerful persons. Do good without expectations. Your reward, feeling good during action itself. We pass the blame to our mind slash ego. Our mind slash ego is our responsibility. We can't control our mind, but want to control others' mind. Doing things simply as a duty makes both unhappy. Relationships are not just actions but these are energies exchanged during interaction. Duty is responsibility, but do it with happiness. For duties today, our focus is always on action A, B, C, not on the state of mind during these actions. Studies slash job is duty, but what is the feeling while doing it? Calm, peaceful, happy, or worried, anxious, angry. The former is enjoyable while the latter is tiresome, painful. Action with healthy emotions is beautiful, otherwise painful. How to be emotionally healthy, very imp question. We can't make each other happy, I make myself happy. We think pa, degree, job, spouse, children, friends will make us happy. Even God can't make you happy. We have temporary mind diversions escapades to divert attention from emotional pain. It is like drugs. Solution, just be aware of thoughts. Just one thought away. Being natural doing what I like, makes me happy. It requires least effort. Being natural is peace, love, happiness. But we must be aware of these natural qualities. Three Samskars influences. 1. Family. 2. Environment, country, religion, caste, city etc. 3. Past this and previous lives, memory capsule. It doesn't take years to change mindset. Just one thought of awareness. There are so many triggers we face every day. It is not the trigger but the vey reaction it creates within us that disturbs us. If we just accept slash respect the triggers, then we are happy. Fourth Samskar, creating new Samskar with awareness and willpower. With this you become powerful. Otherwise you make others persons, circumstances, more powerful lost control. Everyone has the same willpower. It depends on how much we use it. Same with every good human quality. The tragedy is that we are not even aware of our original qualities. Spirituality teaches us this. 
For this we meditate, use tools available. It is like we have fortune in the locker, but beg for money slash happiness from others. First, we must know that we have a fortune in our locker, then we must make efforts to open it. It is in the mind, we have the key. Only we can open. Others can only guide. Balance of thought forces, just one plus ve thought and many ve thoughts won't work. Consistent plus ve thoughts are required. Not just words, thoughts must be plus ve. I you can do it. I have faith in myself you. Tell yourself and others repeatedly. I can be happy. I have faith in myself. Harmony between thoughts, words and action. Thought energy travels faster. Disharmony saps energy. Thoughts are energy, vibration. We can't catch others' thoughts, but we feel plus ve slash ve vibrations. Overall feeling good slash bad. Work on harmony between thoughts, words and then communicate. Disharmony harms me. It is cheating myself. It reduces willpower. Then we do more cheating. Fifth Samskar, the original soul Samskar. Understanding this can correct the other four Samskars. Every human being is originally pure affectionate, peaceful, blissful and powerful. Spirituality shifts focus from I want happiness, I want power, to I am happy, I am powerful. In the former, I am the beggar, in the latter, I am the donor. No more search, effort outside. Share love, peace, happiness with all. Plus ve slash ve infection spread automatically. I am aware, I am creating. Look within. Just look at the thoughts I create. Just talk to yourself. What am I thinking? First stage, awareness of what I am thinking. Second stage, is this the right kind of thinking? Third stage, can I change it? Thinking is like water flowing. You can't stop it, you can channelize it. Meditation does not mean stoppage of thinking. Don't suppress thinking, it is violence. It's like stopping a car in the fifth gear. We get violent jerk. First thing the awareness does is to provide knowledge that I create thoughts, so I can change. I take responsibility. We have a choice. Ve slash plus ve energy affects everyone around us. It is like a perfume. Everyone smells it. We produce 40 to 50,000 thoughts per day, mostly without being aware of the quality. If you are a CEO of a company producing these many products and not even aware of the quality, what will happen to the company? Four types of thoughts. 1. Pure, plus ve, selfless, powerful, no expectations no hurt. 2. Negative, resentment, hatred, criticism, anger large no. 3. Necessary thoughts neutral, these are about action slash duties. 4. Waste thoughts, about things not in my control past and future. Large no's. Huge wastage of time and energy. We don't accept people and situations in the present moment. A person can get tired doing nothing ve and waste thoughts. He would have been less tired if he had played. Psychiatrist tells us that 80% of our thoughts are about past plus 15% are about future. So in 95% thoughts there is nothing plus ve. There are 25 to 30 thoughts per minute, but we speak only 4 to 5 sentences slash minute. It is not enough to have just good action or good words. Thoughts have far more influence. 
every thought affects the entire system, every cell of the body. Many ailments are psychosomatic these days. Think believe. The rest will follow. I the peaceful being, plays this role student, job, relation, friend. Hence, our original nature must be reflected in every role we play. Today, we are changing personality for every role. Hence, relations have become fragile. One ego talks to other. Original actor sleeping inside. Wake up. Concentrate on your role, not others. Don't write their script. It is wastage of time and energy. Write own script. At least you can implement that. Then others get a cue. When we notice a tap running, we immediately close it. The same thing happens with mind when we are aware of the wastage of time and energy. The health of the body reflects the quality of thoughts. If someone cheats us and I lose money, I am not responsible for that loss. But if I lose my peace, I am responsible. If I fail, the loss is already there. But if I lose my peace, I am responsible for the increased loss. Just think one thing. What I think I am doing to others, I am doing to myself, because before any action, we experience it in the mind as a thought. Anger is like a burning coal we want to throw at others. They may be unaffected, we surely are adversely affected. Nurture pure, loving, forgiving thoughts. I don't forgive others, I forgive myself. A person cheated Sanjay for RS. 50,000. A big amount. But he says, may God give him so much that he doesn't have to cheat others. He must be in need of money. May God give him 10 times more. Money returned after 8 years. What is important is the quality of thought for these years. Creating my destiny. When we realize that anger is not natural, peace is natural and become aware when we get angry, we can stop. When others criticize or insult us, we need to think what is more important, what we feel or what others feel. When someone shouts slash provokes, remaining calm and empathizing and wishing the other person well is strength. When bullied, keeping quiet and boiling inside is of no use, one should be quiet inside. Stop anger outside first and then inside. First, realize that anger is not strength. We may not be aware of thoughts these come very fast and continuously, but we are aware of feelings. Feelings create attitude. Change the thought to change the attitude. Being aware all the time is the practice. To begin with, we become aware a little late, then the time reduces and finally, we don't create pain. Must believe that I am a peaceful being. In a traffic jam we don't feel nice because chaos is not natural. When we affirm, I am peace, then the feelings, and attitude will change. At every step we create destiny through thoughts. No one else can change our destiny. When an astrologer predicts and gives us a ring, we believe that it will work. That belief makes it happen. I am using the ring as a stimulus to create a thought. But dependence creates many problems. The Energy Consciousness Prediction is a probability, not a reality. If I take charge, I can prevent it. If you don't like the prediction, take the challenge, raise the thoughts beyond it. Practice to enable the mind to go beyond influence of situations, objects, and people. Planets are also external influences. Everything happens here in the mind. 
Dependency on others slash situations creates fear. Mind is fickle. The only way to control it is by engaging in good acts that are beneficial to all. Peaceful mind works slowly, cautiously. When we are worried, angry, thoughts are very fast. Benevolence is not in the act, but first in the thought. Dancing when not in a mood may work to some extent. These things bring our mind to a level where we understand and can respond rather than react. We can never switch off mind, not even in sleep. Our vey and waste thoughts are due to influences. 1. Past experiences. 2. Information from the sense organs. Negative information leads to vey thoughts. The situation is a trigger. The information is filled inside. It is important to be plus ve in the morning and just before sleep. 10 minutes of good reading before sleep is very beneficial. Then review the events of the day. Don't sleep with unresolved issues. Review how you responded and see if it could have been better. The color of thoughts. Thoughts feeling attitude personality destiny. Quality of thought determined by experiences, information and belief system. Body is a computer. Soul is the operator. Belief system is the operating system. Virus of negativity has entered and taken over the operating system. Spirituality installs the antivirus. Operating system crashes due to outbursts of anger, pain, hurt. Other person's behavior affects us due to acceptance slash approval from others is the foundation of our belief system. Clean your spectacles slash window, don't ask others to change dress. Morning and before sleep meditation is for cleansing. Any rejection reduces self-esteem and then we interact with everyone with that reduced self-esteem vimp. Some others may help raise our self-esteem. But it is still outside help. We can't depend on that. I am in a constant state of proving. Then I am always in fear slash stress. When we understand how our thought mechanism works, understanding others is easy. When we can't handle other person's temperament slash behavior, we withdraw. And this, when the other person might need help. To heal you, I have to be healed first. We can't avoid past experiences. But we need not play record again and again. It causes pain. Learn from past experiences. There is nothing to learn from the past situations, beyond control. Like holding a glass, more than the weight, how long I hold it causes pain. Remembering sad past incident and sharing is like removing wound bandage and scrubbing it. We experience the pain again. Is it doing any good? With this kind of program, pain becomes my personality and I get hurt more easily and relationships, job. You don't need to change job, partner, friends, spouse. You need to make yourself stronger. Even after a major setback slash failure in studies, job, relationships, if you want good things again, create a thought of good even if it is not now. Even if things appear to go from bad to worse, still hold on to that thought. Situations are never under our control. We expect spirituality slash religion to solve our problems. No, they won't. Problems, challenges, obstacles are going to come. Spirituality gives me power to take charge of myself and then face the situation. Everything is fine, first happens in the mind, thought. When something is going very bad, Anger or hurt is sending out vey energy which worsens the situation even more. If you want improvement, 
you need to send strong plus Fey energy. Every person is right from his perspective, even a terrorist. This is universally true. Accepting this fact leads to peace. Those who behave badly are actually in severe pain. By reacting with anger we inflict more pain. It is not the question of right slash wrong about behavior, it is about what is good slash bad for both. We need to detach from the situation and see whether step into other person's shoes to understand. Even if we can't find a reason, at least we can say there must be a reason and pray for the person, send loving vibration. This is the true meaning of understanding. We are studying, working, achieving, relationships, all for happiness, contentment. At the age of 35 to 40, we may have everything, but we are still stressed, anxious and empty. This is because we compromised a lot during this process. Humility is our original nature, but we created ego to feel powerful. We hope you enjoyed this summary of Happiness Unlimited by B.K. Shivani. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. If you're looking for more motivation and personal development content, be sure to check out the rest of our channel. Remember, happiness is within reach, all you need to do is take the first step. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.